वेलकम टू एटीन ऑफ मेज कॉल ब्लेसिंग फादर सेज मे यू बिकम अ कॉन्स्टेंटली कंटेंटेड सोल एंड यूज ऑल द ट्रेजर्स ऑफ योर अटेनमेंट्स बाई बींग एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस द स्पेशल ब्लेसिंग ऑफ द कॉन्फ्रेंस एज सो दिस एज इज नॉन एज कॉन्फ्रेंस एज नॉट द आयरन एज दैट मीन्स नॉट द कल यू बट वी आर इन द कॉन्फ्रेंस एज इज कंटेंटमेंट वॉट इज दिस ब्लेसिंग द स्पेशल ब्लेसिंग ऑफ द कॉन्फ्रेंस एज इज कंटेंटमेंट वाई बिकॉज वी हैव रिसीव द सुप्रीम फादर वी अंडरस्टूड द रीजन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन अ लाइफ वी अंडरस्टूड what happened in our life and why it happened and what were the mistakes which we did in our karmas and ego jealousy lust anger everything which we practiced thinking that you know everybody is doing it so if you and i can do it and then we had to face the consequences but now when we understand this knowledge and we try to overcome these weaknesses we enter into confluence age an age of change from hell to heaven from impurity to purity from darkness to light from iron age to golden age so that There's a conference in between. Is contentment, and the seed of contentment is having all attainments. The seed of discontentment is the lack of some physical or subtle attainment. So, when does a person feel discomfort or discontent? When they feel that they were supposed to receive something physical in the form of gifts or money or something, and they have not received it, or subtle attainments. That means they were supposed to get thank you from somebody or praise from somebody or appraisal from someone, but they never never got it, and so they are not content about it. so god says don't make or don't implant that seed of seeking physical or subtle contentments or attainments it is remembered of brahmins that nothing is lacking in the treasure store of brahmins why because they are attaining everything from the supreme creator they are not brahmins don't ask anything from the world or the worldly beings so he they always seek everything from the supreme being that is the divine being not the worldly beings all of you children receive the same infinite treasures from the one we all receive the same thing knowledge is the same and remembrance is the same at every moment simply use the treasures you have attained that means the knowledge the peace the purity happiness the powers which you attain we have to use them when situations arise when we talk to people when we meet people you have to use these qualities at every moment simply use the treasures you have attained that is become an embodiment of remembrance so when we use treasures we'll remember the person who's given that treasure to us right and that becomes an easy raj yoga that means we able to remember that person and that being and that is god in this case do not change your unlimited attainments into limited ones and you will then remain constantly content so that means we receive peace and happiness and joy and love and uh, wisdom from god and then we turn it into limited attainments that means when we use that wisdom and we use that joy when we use our contentment we give it to others and then we expect them to also return the same thing or uh, the ideas which we receive from god we use them and then we want them people to say wow such a nice idea oh, wow such a nice work you did and then we use those methods to attain subtle or any form of physical attainments then we can remain not remain constantly content so that is the method of remaining constantly content don't expect anything om shanti